All right, guys. So we're over here with uh, Lewis uh, with Kingston. And what do you do over here uh, at I'm Kingston? I'm a senior technology manager. Specifically, I am the project engineer for our SSD line. Oh, OK. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, he's going to show us around some of the demos uh, that Kingston has set up for us today. So uh, let's Great. take a look at Thanks. what you guys got. OK, you can see here, I mean, you know, really what we see a trend kind of this year in the last couple of years has been really small form factor, right? Mm -hmm. You know, with Intel and some of these other guys, Zotac and, and, and Gigabyte with the bricks is they're taking that mobile chipset, right? Essentially put it in a small box and you're able to get a lot of compute and a lot of horsepower out of there, right? So this is a, a really cool one here. This is the Zotac box, the, Z, the Z box, and it's our memory running at 1600 megahertz. Um, with the SO DIMMs, we do plug and play, right? So right away, BIOS recognizes the speed that we have it set at, and it boots at 1600 megahertz, which is kind of cool. So kind of okay. auto overclocking yeah. on the fly, right? If you see this next one here, um, this is the Intel Nook. We're running, this is a, a, a later Nook. We're running at 1866, same thing, plug and play memory. So again, plug it in, it's really easy for the user, and you're running at, at 1866 speeds. And so, you know, extra bandwidth you see helps in video encoding and things like that. That's where you want yeah. that extra memory. And integrated memory. graphics as well. Definitely, yeah, definitely, that's huge. And so for us, a very, a very cool demo. We slide over to the next one, and that is a Gigabyte Bricks. And you can see there also, I'm an SSD guy, so I'm gonna talk yeah. about that as well. But um, there's our 480 gig M SATA. So that is a pre-production sample. We'll be releasing that in Q1. Mm -hmm. So a half a terabyte on an M SATA. Very, very cool. Wow. We did that storage, um, with yeah. the LSI 2281 controller and our friends from Micron helped us out. And again, our HyperX plug and play memory mm -hmm had a cool 2133, so over two gigahertz of memory out of that little, little box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Core i5, um, great, you know, a, a nice quick uh, SSD in there and uh, some really, really fast memory. Great and then work, it's uh, great, you know, uh, work PC or, oh, yeah. you know, a great HD PC or something you like know, that. You know, we're yeah. starting to use these at Kingston. And, you know, when, when Intel released the Nook mm -hmm. last year, I know that's the bricks, but when Intel released that form factor last year, uh, I was one of the first ones to use it. Mm -hmm. And it's my workstation. It's Core i3. Yep. The one I have is Core i3. Mm -hmm. But with an SSD in memory, yep. Windows 7, yep. Windows 8, it's plenty, yeah. right? Yeah, plenty of really processing nice. power for, like, Office or something. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you've got HDMI coming out the back. You know, yep. it's funny because we've really seen this form factor take off I don't know so much in the consumer. It'd be interesting to hear what your readers, you mm -hmm. know, and, and your viewers have to say. But where we really see it is in the system builder, mm -hmm. digital signage, surveillance, all kinds mm -hmm. of different things where we see that box really going. And so, it was it was good. Uh, yep. That the, we're really happy to be able to do a half terabyte M SATA. Awesome. All right. And then the, finally, you got the uh, ASRock M8. Kind of, I don't know about so much small form factor, uh -huh. but what we're able to demo there is 2400 megahertz. And so, again. Mm -hmm. And this one's using a SO DIM. Uh, exactly. As well, right? Yeah, still mm -hmm. SO DIMs, right? That one's kind of a proto. Um, not, not quite available yet um, mm -hmm. on the market, but uh, probably will be soon. Okay. But it was something that, you know, we wanted to kind of uh, kick it up for a CES and show what's capable. So, you know, we're talking mobile chipset, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think yep. a lot of people think mobile is kind of scaled down, but 2400 megabyte or, or megahertz. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can get up to Core i7. That's moving. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Good. Well, All right. we'll take a Let's look and see what else we have. All right.